Okay, like this so you need to press you need to pull forward mm -hmm. then press then turn uh, uh, press so this chihuahua mm, with, with vomiting so and that diarrhea I can feel the vein here mm. uh, so but the best is you're to still hold, holding up if mm. she moves don't ever let go close to your, okay. your especially body. when i'm in already Okay. Okay, you go. go so you need to you restrain to her from. Just follow your her exactly. Yeah. Okay. There. okay. Restrain, put near to the body. Body, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, the dog feel. So that she won't move. Okay, okay. come. They take over. So you have the strength. The best is to shave a bit, uh, because if it, it, unless you're very experienced, you know, how close your body has has, uh, and then the best is. Push. Yeah. Is your. Really help the no, just like that, like that, the finger. Press, Press on the vein so the vein come out. Twist, twist a bit, the skin. On your right. Like that. Mm. The skin twist a bit to outwards. Uh, so, so there's a vein here. Don't use this one. You need to like use the okay, needle I'll put finger the uh, okay. on, at the back of the elbow. Then press. Can okay. this one is to restrain him, her from pulling his. Oh, you do. You know, do. Okay, okay. Let her do first. You got this small dog harder. Mm -hmm. Okay, see one more time. You see how she do. Back of the elbow, middle finger. Oh, let me see. Let, let him see. Back of okay. the elbow, middle finger. This one touch the body. Okay. Then this one is. The thumb. The thumb. thumb, the, is thumb. To press. This one is under the. The forefinger under the leg, leg, thumb, to so occlude the vein, occlude so that the vein so comes out there. So my middle finger is at the back of the elbow, so that he can, she cannot pull his elbow back, mm. right? You have the control. You can see the vein coming pressing, out, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you, you're pressing, though. So let's say uh, you don't use you your middle control the finger. Side, uh. Yeah, this one control the back. So Small you're not using yeah. your middle finger at the back. Okay, uh. quick, get on you Just it. press this one uh, and then the other one. No, get on it. She can pull it. Mm, okay, come one more time. No, for him to do. No? Close to your. This one is at right angles. Thumb is at right angles to the, the leg. I mean, at right angles to the leg. Yeah. Right angles. You know what's right angle? No? To the elbow. And then twist it. Ah, then you can see the vein coming out. There. So you twist more, then the vein will come further up. Ah. Twist a bit more, uh, your thumb, uh. Okay, then, then... Yeah, like that, okay, uh. Always close to the body, and that one close. So we shave a bit so they can see the vein. Uh, Talk to the dog again, as, yeah. as usual. Uh, you can see this on the vein is very obvious. Uh. You, you never find such a nice vein. So you press here, then the vein will distend. Uh. You understand what I mean? Uh? This use thumb. Your thumb to Not use this. Uh. Okay. Your thumb come your over thumb. here. Uh. See, yeah. go, go down below. You see how I do that? Uh? Like that. Oh. Go below and come out. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah. good. Okay, so so make sure yeah, the dog don't move. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Because if the dog moves, okay. the catheter will come out. Huh? Okay. 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 No, close to your body. Okay. Uh, 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 so this one always pressure uh, onto it. Okay, good. Hmm. Okay, so get ready everything first, including the syringe. Where is it? No, to inject in. Okay, never mind. Anyway, she put the catheter in first, okay? With the catheter in, you can inject other drugs or so. IV. Yeah. Now, this one, of course, you got to shift a bit so that the thing come out of it. Ah, you see? You see what I mean? At the same time. Just need to twist your skin, and then let go. But his thumb keeps coming. You're almost done. This fourth finger, your third finger, uh, go back a bit. The third you finger. don't need to like turn, oh. twist the whole leg. Uh. I'm just going to take a guy. Okay. Go, yeah, go yeah, on the elbow, good. 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 Yeah. Ah, no, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh. So this thumb is the one more important. Uh. Okay. 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 So and then hold tight to your body, the dog said. Uh, then one person talk to the dog. Yeah. Okay. Now you can see. Uh, if I say let go, just let go of the thumb. Huh? Don't, don't let go, go first. The, leg, huh? the best is don't let go first. Huh? So she put in the. Okay, very strong. 
the catheter. Put in the catheter. Normally, a very experienced person like like her, uh, right? they are very experienced. So then she she might want to tape it first. Mm. So tape it first. Press me, okay. Mm, press first, okay. Yeah. Then she tape it first, huh? use the, the tape to tape it first. Okay. Yeah. So this is successful yeah. already okay. in. Uh, this, okay. uh, so she tape the catheter so that it doesn't fall off uh, while, we, while we give okay. the, the IV. Yeah. Yeah. You see, there is a reason of having a catheter. Huh? You can give more than one time. Uh, so we give IV so glucose plus Hartman first okay. plus a soft smart G6 0.3 it's all inside the syringe yeah. okay so this is how you you ensure that the dog gets the the, the, the drug directly uh, you see uh, so slow very slow very slow slow yeah Go too fast, it might get high attack. Very slow, and you see, there's a there's advantage of catheterization. Otherwise, you you put the needle in, the dog move a bit, the whole thing come out. You see, huh? So now you're seeing this is an IV catheter. This dog has vomiting and diarrhea, a lot of diarrhea. So we, we give fluid to prevent dehydration. So after that, she give another five ml by uh, another syringe, and. Uh, so I'll finish on here, she cap it first. No, you cap it first. She cap it first. That's the advantage of okay, hmm? okay. You're scared of needle. No, I'm scared of squeezing it. Okay. Wait. So let, let me hold first. You you, you come in. Take a, take a new 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 one. Take a new one, come. No, you take a new one. No, do it first. Okay, wait, wait, not yet, not yet. You still gotta give another, you hold first. So we we'll get another one with the betrill in. So betrill, wait, take a betrill here. They come, wait, let me take the drop. Betrill is here, there. Betrill. Zero point three. Betrill is antibiotics. So, so I give anti diarrhea. I give anti diarrhea first time. Second. Zero point three based on the weight now, about that. One point six. Yeah, about zero point three will do yeah. Then there is the antibiotics. IV, IV is faster action. Uh. Which one? Uh, this one. Okay, it's the glucose already. Glucose given, yeah. The glucose about one ml will do. Mm. Mm, this will give him the energy. And then uh, uh, you can see, uh, yeah, in the old days, if we give direct, the, the needle will shift, you see. Mm. So you won't be able to give so much as here. With the, this one, take out the needle. And then, uh, uh, so, Normally we give about six ml or so. This is three plus three. Yeah. Three plus three six. Maximum is ten uh, because based on the size of the dog, you don't you don't need to give more than that. Yeah. So he doesn't need to eat, you see. Then then uh, I won't get dehydrated. Hartman got calcium. All this you can see it's not swollen, so it's going through. Uh. Otherwise this part will swell. Mm -hmm. The catheter wasn't placed correctly or what. Okay, so one more time. One more time. Another three ml again. So it's nine. So I alternatively you can always get get a big uh ten ml syringe. Huh? So this one will, we will give uh, two plus one glucose again. One glucose and uh, so this will prevent hypoglycemia. Glucose a bit. Just so take, take one ml of the Hartman and then put glucose in. No? Then change one ml of glucose. Okay, so. Good job, good job. Very slow. The difference, right? You can, okay. if she's near you, you can like, restrain her mm -hmm. properly. Yeah, okay. Slowly, yeah. Uh, so this is IV, battery given, spasmal GC given, and Hartman and 5% glucose given. So the dog doesn't have to eat or get dehydrated. No? Oh. So we took the blood already. <laughs> Show me the blood. We, we just we took the blood. The three bottles. Okay, bring it here. 
So the blood will be used to check for kidney functions and liver function and also the total white cell count, see whether it's increased or not. If the white cell increase is the due to bacterial infection or viral infection as a cause of diarrhea. Now this dog is 16 years old, which you can't believe because she really looked look very good but very thin. Now this uh, dog came on heat one month ago, which is very unusual because uh, normally old dogs don't come on heat but only one day according to the owner. So this vomiting and diarrhea could be associated with the kidney or the uterine infection, which we will only know from the blood test. The blood test will show total white cell count goes up. Uh, so in the meantime, we just prevent dehydration and hypoglycemia by giving the IV. We can cap it. Uh. Yeah. Then we can more, tomorrow. No, no tomorrow we can do again if necessary. Uh. The so dog goes home. Uh, goes home already. Okay. So cover. Okay.